Sexy Site and I'm going to show you how we can quickly and simply change the default domain name that Squarespace assigns to your website when you signed up. So you can see here that mine is currently Crocodile Mustard. This is just a copy of my Fleur e-commerce website template that's been adjusted a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down into settings and right up the top there you can see domains. So we're going to click on that there and here you can see the built-in domain name. So we're just going to click on that one there. This never expires. This is not your domain name that you will probably end up by going live with. Like I've purchased pixiesite.com and pixiesite.co.nz and this is the domain that I ended up by connecting to my Squarespace website to then set it live. So this is just your free um, default domain name that Squarespace has assigned to your site. So in here we can just go ahead and change it. So I'm going to call this one, whoops, Fleur Beauty. I might actually already have one called Fleur Beauty, so I'm going to put a number two there. Um, rename and confirm. So now you can see up the top there it is fleurbeauty2.squarespace.com. So now when I send this to someone, friends and family, someone to go ahead and check over my website for me, possibly before I'm going live, this here is the default domain name. It is free. Um, also, maybe if you manage Squarespace websites for other people, uh, you are a Squarespace creator or you have um, multiple sites or something on your own, now when emails and things come through to say... Um, that say it's up for a renewal, it's not going to say something like crocodile, whatever it was, is up for a renewal or has subscribed. You're going to know exactly which business it is referring to um, now that you've renamed that. So an automatic email will come through to you to say that that domain name has changed. Um, keep in mind, this is the free one. You can go live with it and just use this free domain name that you've assigned to it. Although I do recommend that you are purchasing a domain name um, when you can that is your own, that is specific to you and your business and then you end up by connecting that one. Cool, hope this has helped. Please like and subscribe for loads more tips on Squarespace.